Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. <laughs> just kidding, yes I did. I see everything. It's your boy Kip Toe, and I just came back from a commissioned mural. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of how I make money as a professional artist. When you're a successful artist like me, you get to splurge a little bit on food. So these guys at the medical marijuana shop saw my work on the side of the street and they emailed me about some work. Pretty dream scenario, right? So we email back and forth. They kind of tell me about a little bit about their shop, what they're trying to do with the space. They have a big blank wall uh, on the side of the shop right when you enter. They're looking for some really dope artwork and they really liked my stuff, but they also had an idea of what they wanted. And that's usually the case. You kind of have to meet halfway with clients, maybe even a little bit more on their side. And that's what happened here. Now, if you watch my videos, you know my stuff. It's, you know, it's a little bit surreal, lots of animals and people and energy and lots of craziness going on. But uh, for this one, he wanted something a little bit more pleasing to a, um, a big audience, all of their patients, something that wouldn't scare them or something. And so it's located in Studio City, so he wanted something very Studio City-esque and very LA. So sometimes you have to swallow your ego and uh, just kind of go with what he wants. <laughs> You just gotta go in there and kill it. You know, I did exactly what they wanted. Uh, put a little pizzazz on it, a little, little oomph. They loved it and I got paid. So yesterday I got paid after I finished the marijuana mural and they can have their fancy building and their nice store, but at the end of the day, they're still drug dealers. And let me tell you, better than washing dishes for sure. Now, when you're accepting work, there's three things that I like to employ. Do you like the people? Do you like the job? and do you like the money? If two out of three are yes, go for it. If it's just one, maybe think about it again. But if you're just starting out, any work is good work. But if you get to a point where you have big portfolio, you're confident in your work and your skills, and you're confident in the numbers that you charge, um, think about those two out of the three things that'll really help you push your career in the direction that you wanna go. So anyways, these guys are really dope. Uh, the money was great. And it was a fun job too, so kind of lucked out. Uh, it wasn't too bad. And I made a video for them too, so without further ado, check it out. So yeah, that's how your boy makes money. And now I have money to live. I have money to work on Kipto projects and I have money to, you know, 
go out with girls and stuff. Yeah. And even if you do a project and the money sucks and it's kind of like, uh, there's always opportunities to, ha to have cool things happen. You know, you could make friends or you know, a girl or, you know, whatever. Remember, there's nothing sexier than a confident dude with talent. Now go out there and make your boy proud. Yo, I'm trying to spit knowledge with my peeps, yo. Freaking airplanes. Helicopters. What is this, fucking LA or something? 